Hi, my name is Jennifer Pepper and I am a ratings analyst in Standard & Poor's Leisure & Sports Group. Today, January 25, 2012, we upgraded our corporate credit rating on Harley-Davidson to triple B plus from triple B and removed it from Credit Watch. The upgrade is primarily based on four things. One, growth in shipments, which had been in a four-year decline. Two, expected margin improvement from restructuring efforts. Three, an increase in retail sales of Harley bikes, which came off 2010 lows, indicating that demand might be in recovery. And four, improvements to underwriting guidelines that have resulted in better credit quality of receivables. The securitization markets are an important source of capital for Harley, and these trends reduce the risk of continued access in our view. We view Harley's business risk profile as satisfactory. The company has a strong brand with 56% market share in the U.S. Still, we factor in the company's exposure to discretionary spending, the potential for supply chain disruptions, and lack of diversity. Our financial risk assessment of intermediate reflects sol solid liquidity and credit measures that are strong for the rating, but also reliance on continuous access to the securitization markets to fund receivables. For 2012, we don't expect significant growth in retail sales, but we do think the sales channel can absorb the modest 3 to 5 percent increase in shipments in management's plan. We expect motorcycle segment revenue growth in the low single-digit percent area for 2012. And for EBITDA, we think that expected savings from the manufacturing restructuring will support high single-digit growth. Based on these assumptions, we expect adjusted leverage to remain near one times in the intermediate term. That is strong for the rating, but provides a cushion for the cyclical and discretionary nature of the motorcycle business. The stable outlook reflects our expectation of modest growth in motorcycle shipments in 2012, margin improvement from the manufacturing restructuring, and maintaining quality underwriting standards in the financial services business, which together should result in metrics remaining in line with the rating. Thank you, and for more information, please see our research update on Harley-Davidson, which is available on Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal.